Donald Trump attending a UFC fight in New York City Saturday evening, surrounded by top allies and cabinet picks, including Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy, tapped to lead the new Department of Government Efficiency, former Democratic Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, selected for a Director of National Intelligence, and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. picked to lead Health and Human Services. I think the reality this time is we actually know what we're doing. We actually know who the good guys and the bad guys are. We know who the guys are fake. Uh, and it's about surrounding my father with people who are both competent and loyal. On Saturday, the lawyer for Trump's defense secretary pick, Pete Hegseth, confirming Hegseth paid a woman who accused him of sexual assault in 2017 as part of a non-disclosure agreement. Hegseth denies the assault. Police did investigate the incident at the time, and prosecutors decided not to charge him. The Secretary of Defense is designed to be a very important job. So who we put in there is extremely, extremely critical, again, to our security and to who we are as a nation. Meanwhile, RFK Jr. receiving a warmer-than-anticipated welcome by GOP senators. But a rocky road likely lies ahead for Trump's most controversial pick, Matt Gates, for attorney general, who Trump promises will, quote, end weaponized government and restore faith and confidence in the Justice Department. NBC News reporting the majority of Senate Republicans don't support Gates leading the Justice Department and don't believe he'll be confirmed. GOP Senator Mark Wayne Mullen is a tough critic of Gates, but says he trusts Trump's judgment. We're going to give Matt Gates the same chances we'll give all President Trump's nominees. And by the way, I, I do believe that President Trump has the ability to pick some really, really good people. You can see why he's been successful in business, why he was successful in running his campaign, because he surrounds himself with the right people. The New York Times reporting many of Trump's voters are thrilled with the selections. Over the weekend, Trump pushing for recess appointments, a path that skips Senate confirmation hearings for his cabinet picks. In Washington, I'm Kayla Gaskins.